So we are on the western side of the Navy Pier, the U.S. Uh, Navy Weapons Station Earl here in Sandy Hook Bay. Um, we are going to be adding to our living shoreline and that consists of bringing out these oyster castles and making pyramids um, out at our restoration site. These castles have about 500,000 um, oyster larvae, oyster spat onto them, so um, they'll start to grow, creating more habitat. Roger that, thank you very much. I think anybody along the Bay Shore and other places that lived through Superstorm Sandy um, gets it. They understand that we need to fortify our coasts. The Navy is doing it because they have a lot of infrastructure that got wrecked. Um, but the whole coastline really would benefit from this for, you know, just putting those speed bumps out there to stop the wave energy. So the first level has 16 uh, locked together, and then the next layer has nine, and then four, and then there's a final just one block on the top. What their research has provided along with just uh, a chance for us to give back to the state of New Jersey, a chance for us to, to, to further research that protects our waterways, um, it's providing us a, a, a living shoreline, a, a hardened reef to protect this installation against um, uh, sea level rise and, and further st storm searches. I know that the, for me, this shoreline resiliency work is really important. Um, just to see the devastation that those towns, you know, experienced, it's a no-brainer. We need some kind of protection, and it needs to be this green infrastructure.